and final call for any guests who are disembarking the Celebrity Summit today. Good morning and welcome to Miami, Florida. We have docked now in Miami. I never knew my father. Uh, <laughs> they're doing uh, Nemo inside. Inside is Katie and Ryan. You can see them in there. We are packing up. It's the last day of our cruise. We are getting ready to leave and it has been a spectacular cruise. We are going to be heading back home and Katie and Brendan have came back home from college the night before we left for the cruise. They were literally home maybe 12 hours before we left for the cruise. So when we go back now, it's Thursday and they're gonna have the rest of spring break with us at home in Florida, yay! So we have a lot of fun in store coming over the next few days. At least we have ideas of what we want to do. But other than that, oh, and if you guys haven't seen, if you don't follow Katie on TikTok, Give her a follow. She has been doing daily vlogs on TikTok of our crews and they have been spectacular. Um, we'll have the full vlogs here on It's the Donnelly's, but Kate has like little, like three minute daily fun, fun, fun uh, videos. So anyway, we're getting all packed up. We're gonna go up and have some breakfast and then we will skedaddle. Wait, first of all, how did it go in your room this time? Was it good? I think we kept it relatively clean compared to... You did keep it relatively clean and organized compared to the past. I, w I will say that. Um, I think um, there could have been some better, some better spots. In terms of? In terms of just from all of us. Oh, all of us. I like that you slept up there. If you were down here, for example, is that a bed? Yeah. If you were down here, it would have been too crowded, I guess is my point. Like, it, like you have your space, no Katie has her space, Brennan has his space. Oh, yeah, if he was down there, we wouldn't have, like, room for our things or walk. Right, you know? exactly. That would have been a mess. Up there, uh, opens up so much space for us. To yes. And you guys were saying, too, that in this room, you didn't even fill up all the drawers. No, you didn't. Tons. A game changer. Yeah, tons of storage space in here. Yeah, because the first thing that everyone goes to when they come in the room is like, who's going to get wet with their clothes? But everyone gotta get that is the first sibling argument. The first sibling argument that happens in hotels or like slash root cruise ships yeah. is who's going to get what for us. And how do you guys decide that? Really? <laughs> so I was just like, I get this, and then if no one vetoes it, then you get the drawer. But a lot of times it's like, ah, uh, nah, and then you. But if it's like, but if Ryan's like, I get these seven drawers, and me and Brendan are like, uh, no, you don't, and then we just negotiate from there. Okay, that sounds like it's fun. It's always fun walking more, into a new room, right? I have a little more authority in those decisions now that I'm not a little tight. A little pep, pep squeak. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Could Is it probably? But you used to have little little clothes. Remember when you were a little teeny tot? You only really and needed he, like a he half a drawer. Clothes, he put all of his clothes in like a bunch of different drawers, and it'd be like one sock, <laughs> two shirts. Ew. Cute boy. Ryan doesn't even remember what, what we're talking about. Ryan doesn't even remember Dad's grapefruit grapefruit phase. Oh yeah. Sorry, right guy. I don't know why you guys didn't know that. You guys didn't know. Is right, you still are a little breakfast. jet, and you don't like. It's it's crazy to think that like the trips to, that we used to go on, like our all of our trips to Disney that we used to go on, when Ryan was just a little tight, he doesn't remember them. Right. I remember. That's them. why. Well, this is the funny thing. So when Dad and I, some you, of my earliest memories are at Disney. Yeah, we, me too, and I love that. And I don't want when I raise my kids, I'm not gonna be like, oh, they're too young to remember, because I have memories from every single time we went, and like that's what. I think that's fills what, you, it's what fills your head with happy. Yeah. yeah that's what they I'm already called the last that's and that's final call. We have to leave. Go, 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 go. Does someone take the closet? Oh, shoot. Go, go, yeah, Brennan. Who's talking as that? Who's eat that? Oh, the breakfast is already closed. We've missed breakfast. Once again, this is the last and final call for any guests who are disembarking the celebrity summit today. Okay. Is it what, did, what it's for? We gotta get off. Where's Katie? Yeah, I feel a lot of Yes, we do. This is always the hardest part she leaving the ship. Maybe she has some <laughs> yes, I'm pulling bags. Going. On the way in, Brennan was so kind as to have my bags, which was nice. But leaving the ship is a hard part, too, Brennan. Oh, you're very sweet. I have it this time. Thank you so much. Oh, there's my thing. 
I think you're exactly right. They were already setting up for the next cruise. Here we go. They're very efficient at getting people out, though. They're doing a very nice job. It would take hours and hours to get people off ships back in the day. Now, pretty quick. If we had a cruise of 5,000 Nautilus, we would have to ship. That's right. I wouldn't be able to flip it in one day. That's exactly right. Hi. Hi, Celebrity Summit. Mm. We love you. We had a great time. We hope to see you again soon. Sponsor us, Celebrity. We love you. <laughs> Send us on free cruises, Celebrity. We would love it. Bye Miami. My park is not that deep. I I think one of my favorite parts about this cruise was that Brennan didn't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, B-Man. No, 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 no one got hurt. No one got hurt. No one was bleeding. When I was walking back No on one's the ship. sick. Ryan blood. Ryan blood. Ryan blood. Ryan blood and I'm sick. Oh, um, when <laughs> you blood when we were on the rocks at the beach. Uh, Anyway, so I was walking back on the ship from Mexico, and um, I was barefoot. I just because we had gone to the beach and then we got in the bus or the van to like go back to the port. So I just threw all my stuff in a bag, and I was in my towel and a bathing suit and no shoes. And I smacked my toe, like stubbed my toe so hard it like echoed through the entire country of Mexico. Oh my! I don't remember hearing that. And okay. well. Because you were a little bit down the dock, and okay. so like the acoustics were headed towards like more. Oh, I see, more know. inland. Okay, right. Yeah. So um, the guy behind me was like, "Oh!" oh like we were like, okay. it was very sporadic, you know, because we were towards like the end of the tour, getting on the ship. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he was like, "Oh, I know that hurt," and this girlfriend was like, "Are you okay?" Oh and my gosh, like, Kate. Yeah. And I just kept walking, but I. Okay, so you did get injured, but we just did not injured. I got oh, hurt, not hurt. Injured. Okay, that's fair. I wasn't taken out of the game. <laughs> okay, guys, we just stopped for breakfast because, well, we forgot breakfast. <laughs> Or we did we missed breakfast on the ship before we left. So but speaking of food, my question for you is this. Uh, yes, what sure. is your favorite like what what was the best tasting thing you ate the whole time on the vacation? Best thing I ate the whole time? Yeah. College of Charleston. College of Charleston? Money line. Is that who you're rooting for in the Maryland plus three. Okay, yeah, you guys are doing your brackets. Um no, the best thing I ate the entire time. It was probably the steak on the last night. Wow. This oh is, this is Boston right here. Oh, is that right? Okay. Maybe I'm just hungry. We didn't need to go all the way to the cruise ship. Just go to Weston, Florida and mm -hmm. go to the right. gas station and them? get a hoagie. What was your question? What was your favorite thing that you ate on the whole entire vacation? Prime rib. Oh, the first night? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mike? I enjoyed the salmon. Oh, very good. Katie? And the French fries were good. The French fries were excellent. I totally agree. Red cheeseburgers. They have something to do with you also. Um, like a crazy combination it's just like a good steak or like prime rib with uh mashed potatoes nice first mashed potatoes especially on celebrity crazy. really good oh nice nice all right well if you guys want do you want to know mine or not really know uh -huh. yeah okay <laughs> my two favorite things that stood out that i think about right now are the lava cake so good and this was not on the cruise ship but the chocolate dipped key lime pie was to die for. Mm -hmm. right. And duh, the best thing ever, actually better than any of it, chocolate croissants. The chocolate croissants are to die Got for. It. Yes. It. It's funny, because I'm not really even a sweet girl, but all my things I just said were sweet. I think you're a sweet girl. Aw, thanks, Mike. <laughs> Brennan and Ryan are March Madness crazy. They're watching Dude Perfect, I think, right now on break. Right? Is it halftime yeah, at March it's Madness? It's, it's right. well, we got like five minutes till Maryland plays again. Oh, okay, good. So yeah, you watch all Dude Perfect. Kate's all the way in the back. Hi, Hi Katie baby. lady. How are you, love? Good nap? My back hurts. Okay. What are you excited to do when we get home? Uh, upload my TikTok! Yay! I'm excited to see the kitties. 
What do you say to do, Mike? Oh. Go for a swim? Dad wants to go for a swim. <laughs> go to the bathroom. I know. He never. He doesn't really say Dad, anything. I might go to the pool. I'll speak on behalf of him. You're excited to go to the bathroom, much. Ryan? He's like firm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. How about you, Brendan? What are you excited to do when we get home? Watch Maryland. Okay, you're going to sit around and watch TV, you guys? I, like I mean, it's cool pool, if you Mom. do. Do you want to come to the pool with me? Yeah, maybe. I'm going to eat something, a salad first, and then I'll go to the pool with you and upload my TikToks. Oh, <gasps> You guys, if you haven't seen our... Well, what? We're uploading as YouTube Shorts. We're going to do highlight reels from our cruise. So on YouTube Shorts and TikTok, Instagram, follow us on all the things. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can see it. I'll follow whoa, Katie, whoa, whoa, too. Whoa, whoa. Katie's TikTok. She has Let's amazing, great, fun TikToks. No way, bro. Good job, Mikey. Brought us Thank home safe you. and sound all the way from Cozumel. Well, you didn't drive us from Cozumel. You just drove us from Miami, but that's enough. It's <laughs> far enough, right? All right, the boys are watching. They're watching March Madness. They can't believe it. As sad as I am that vacation is over, coming home to my house makes me very happy. I missed little kitties. I missed my garden. I missed my parents. I missed the sunsets. It's almost like I went on vacation and then it came home to vacation. It's really kind of nice, Kate. We're very lucky. Mm -hmm. You know what, though? You make your own luck. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You get to choose mm -hmm. your life. So as much as you can, you guys, choose what you love. That's what I say. Choose to be happy. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching our whole vlog cruise series. If you haven't watched all of them, we will have the playlist right here. So be sure to watch, and we cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I choose to watch the mailbox. Will you come with me? Let's go, yeah.